Hi good morning children welcome back to your next lecture of mathematics that is chapter 3 integers in the channel learn with veena here now here we are going to learn something more in this lesson second part of the lesson that is integers we have already come up with addition of integers and opposite numbers so we are we are going to start with comparison of integers we have already come up with this talk concept of comparison in our lower standards where we learn greater than less than equal to not only that big small tall short and all these things these are nothing but comparisons of things of numbers so here we'll be comparing with integers that is positive numbers negative numbers and zero with the help of the number line now this is the number line showing positive integers on the right and negative on the left with zero in the middle so children keep in mind a rule that when we add one to any number on the number line we get the next number on the right for both positive and negative numbers for example if i add 0 plus 1 it is 1 1 plus 1 it's 2 2 plus 1 it's 3 3 plus 1 is 4 like so on if i come on the left hand side it's uh, if i say minus 1 plus 1 it's 0 i said adding 1 to the number on the number line to the right so by minus 1 is on the left if i put plus 1 to the right i get the answer as 0 the answer that comes is to the right hand side if i add minus 2 plus 1 i'll get minus 1 minus 3 plus 1 i get minus 2 and so on so how to calculate we'll learn in subtraction of integers now when i compare the integers always remember the number in negative signs the the biggest number in negative sign is minus 1 and the smallest in this number line is minus 4 any number moving ahead of minus 1 is smaller than minus 1 any number on the left hand side of the negative numbers any number next to any negative numbers is smaller than its previous number similarly when i come to positive numbers any numbers on the right hand side is the greater one 2 is greater than 1 3 is greater than 2 4 is greater than smallest number is positive 1 and in the negative side biggest number is negative 1 smallest number in positive numbers is 1 biggest number in negative numbers is minus 1 over here so when i compare it when i use the symbols it's minus 4 less than minus 3 that is minus 4 is less than the number minus 3 minus 3 is less than minus 2 Minus two is less than minus one, so the biggest number in this number line is minus one. So when I compare with zero, minus one is again less than zero. Zero is less than one. One is less than two. Two is less than three. Three is less than four. Four is less than five. So biggest number in this number line is five, and the smallest number in this number line is minus four. Understood? So this is nothing but comparison of integers. Now please note every number is greater than the number on its immediate left by 1 every number is greater here 0 is greater than minus 1 minus 1 is to the left so 0 is greater minus 2 is less so minus 1 is greater minus 3 is to the left so minus 2 is the greater number the above statement means every number on the right is always greater than the number on the left for example if i take minus 4 and minus 3 in the number line minus 4 is lying to the left or right it is lying to the left side of number line so minus 3 is the bigger number minus 4 is the smaller number when i come to the positive side uh, when i take 4 and 5 which is to the left 4 is to the left 5 is to the right so 5 is the bigger number 4 is the smaller number so like this you have to compare the integers so let's have some examples first now here we have minus 5 and minus 4 which is less minus 5 so less than sign minus 6 and minus 6 both are same number so equal to 0 and minus 2 0 is bigger so greater than sign will come to 0 minus 7 minus 8 minus 7 i said the number to the left left is always smaller than the number to the right so here minus 7 when i take in the number line it's the right hand side so this is the bigger number so greater than sign 1 is greater than 0 but minus 1 is less than 0 4 is greater than 0 but minus 6 is less than minus 4 now same questions but with different numbers we have in practice set so let's solve that we have write the proper signs greater less or equal to in the boxes below 
minus 4 minus oh, sorry minus 4 and 5 was always positive numbers are greater than the negative numbers so greater than sign will come to 5 the opening mouth is opening towards 5 if I speak about 8 and minus 10 which is the bigger number 8 so, so the mouth will open towards number 8 if I speak about same numbers plus 9 plus 9 equal to sign since the numbers are same it is lying on the same point in the number line minus 6 and 0 which is the bigger number 0 so mouth will open towards 0 that is the greater number is 0 so sign the mouth of that particular symbol will move towards the opening part is towards 0 similarly there are some more questions in this video where you will uh, try where you will practice and understand regarding comparison of integers try to solve it on your own and then check it from the video so that you will understand how much nicely you have understood the concept of comparing the integers coming to the next subtracting integers the rules to subtract integers let us learn first the rules as we have done in the addition of integers so the rules in subtraction of integers is not that tough it's too easy just a statement and let's see the statement to subtract a number from another number is to add its opposite number that means if I want to subtract 3 and minus 4 what I'll do I'll just write the opposite of minus 4 that is plus 4 I'll get 3 plus 4 the answer is 7 so better understand it with an example if I have 9 minus minus 4 9 I am subtracting 9 from minus 4 so 9 minus minus 4 which is the opposite number of minus 4 it's plus 4 so 9 plus 4 is 13 ignore the signs over here just write 13 then uh, next 8 minus that is 8 is subtracted from plus 6 opposite of plus 6 is minus 6 so 8 minus 6 is 2 since the bigger number is 8 it's positive so positive sign here also the bigger number is 9 so it's positive so answer is also in the positive sign you can put plus 13 or just write 13 coming to examples to understand the concept better of how to subtract the integers let us see some examples minus 9 is subtracted from minus 4 now here I have so many minus signs but what you have to change is the sign which is next to this subtraction sign that is minus 4 opposite of minus 4 is plus 4 written here minus 9 write as it is so minus 9 and plus 4 is I'll subtract so as I have done in addition if I have minus and plus I have to subtract so 9 minus 4 is 5 and the bigger number is 9 put the sign of minus minus 4 minus minus 9 here minus 9 is there next to this subtraction sign so opposite of minus 9 is plus 9 so minus 4 is written as it is because here I have no sign on this side so I'll write this entire number with its sign over here so minus 4 plus 9 here again plus minus we have to subtract opposite signs we have always to subtract so 9 minus 4 is 5 the bigger number is 9 having positive sign so answer is plus 5 plus 9 minus plus 4 that means 9 is subtracted from 4 opposite of plus 4 is minus 4 I have written here plus 9 as it is copy it so if I have opposite signs what should I do I should directly subtract it so 9 minus 4 is 5 which is the bigger number 9 so write the positive sign either write positive or just write it 5 next 9 minus minus 4 so again I have to change the sign of minus 4 whichever number is there after subtraction sign change the sign of only that number so minus 4 the opposite number is plus 4 plus 9 is written as it is as numbers are having same sign what I will do directly add the numbers and put the common sign so 9 plus 4 13 the common sign is plus put the sign of plus coming to practice set here we have lots of questions in practice set for subtraction you'll get lump sum of practice and you'll understand the concept very very nicely I have solved all the answers in this but I would request you all to solve the questions by your own and then check it from the video so let's see some of the questions randomly so that you can understand how to go through it so first one here 3 is subtracted from 
positive 6. Opposite of positive 6, negative 6. So 3 minus 6 is 3. And the greater number is 6 with negative sign. Put 3. 8 is subtracted from positive 6. So opposite of positive 6 is negative 6. So 8 minus 6 is 2. Greater number is 8 having positive sign. So answer is also positive. Coming over here, negative 2 subtracted from positive 6. Opposite of positive 6, negative 6. So negative 2 and negative 6 having same sign. I have to add it. So 6 plus 2 is 8. Bigger number is 6 having minus sign put minus. Coming to the seventh question, minus 3 is subtracted from plus 9. Opposite of plus 9, negative 9. Now since minus 3 is written as it is, I have same signs with integers. I have to add it. 9 plus 3 is 12. So greater number 9 having negative sign put minus. Coming to the next one. Again the same set of questions from your textbook. Here I have is... 3 is subtracted from minus 4. So 3 means it's positive 3. So write as it is. So minus 4. Opposite of minus 4 is plus 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7. Bigger number is 4. Put a positive sign or ignore the sign. Minus 3 minus of minus 4. That is minus 3 subtracted from minus 4. Opposite of minus 4 is plus 4. Minus 3 is the written as it is. So since it is opposite signs, I have to subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1. So a bigger number is 4 having positive sign. So write it plus 1 or just write 1. 8 is subtracted from negative 5. Opposite of negative 5, positive 5. So 8 plus 5 is 13. So bigger number is 8 having positive sign or no sign that is positive. The answer is also positive. Coming to next set of questions. So here we are towards the next set of questions from the same practice set. Again, randomly I'll take up some questions. 3 minus 0, as there is no doubt anything subtracted from 0 is the same number. So 3 minus 0 is 3. 8 minus 0 is 8. Minus 3 minus 0 is minus 3. Uh, minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2 itself. Now coming to the next set, 8 is subtracted from positive 7. Opposite of positive 7, negative 7. So 8 minus 7 is positive 1. Why positive? Because 8 is the bigger number having positive sign. So positive 1. Minus 2 subtracted from plus 7. Plus 7 opposite of plus 7 is negative 7. So minus 2 minus 7 numbers with same sign. We have to add it 7 plus 2 9. Bigger number is 7 with negative sign. Put a negative sign over here also. Now coming to the next again the last set of questions in your practice set. Here we have some more numbers. 3 is subtracted from negative 8. So opposite of negative 8, positive 8. So 3 plus 8 is 11. 8 is the bigger number having positive sign. So plus 11. I'll take 28th question. Minus 2 is subtracted from minus 8. Opposite of minus 8 is positive 8. So minus 2 plus 8 is opposite sign. Numbers with opposite sign. We have to subtract. So 8 minus 2 is 6. Bigger number is 8 with positive. So I'll write plus 6. Minus 3 is subtracted from minus 3 itself. So opposite of minus 3 is plus 3. If the numbers are having opposite signs, we have to subtract it. So 3 minus 3 is 0. Since 0 is neither positive nor negative, no need of putting any sign in it. Minus 2 is subtracted from minus 3. Opposite of minus 3 is plus 3. Minus 2 is written as it is. So minus 2 and plus 3, numbers with opposite signs subtracted. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Bigger number is 3 with positive sign put plus 1. I guess you all might have understood the topic very well but still with some doubts because until and unless you practice mathematics well you cannot and never understand max especially the numbers having these kinds of opposite signs that is integers. So students it's my request to you try to practice each and every question by your own understand the con concept better review back the video so that you can understand it much more nicely with the rules that are applied while solving the questions to find out the answers. So, thank you children to watch the video. If you have any questions, you can put up your questions in the comment box or you can ask me so that I can solve your doubts. Thank you once again.